All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. I got an interesting video for you guys today. We're gonna look at a fig tree of mine here behind me called Campaneri. We're here on the northern side of my, my yard, the northern plot of figs that I have, where we do the hardiness experiment, where the soil is actually quite dry here, the fruit quality is better, uh, the trees typically lignify a little bit better. Uh, but what I've found actually, and I found this a couple years ago, is some damage on this Campaneri tree, where the damage is so severe that the cambium has died on a portion of the trunk and the hardwood is exposed. Now, the cool thing is there's actually three trunks that I've allowed to grow on this tree. As you guys are probably aware, figs are naturally bushes and they'll send up a lot of suckers and wanna keep suckering naturally. If you want a tree, you have to limit those suckers, remove them every year and just keep that one trunk you'll have a tree. But me, I've kept three, and so it's technically a bush. And so down here at the base, you'll see each of the trunks, they splay out in different directions. And two of them actually have some significant winter damage that again, exposes that hardwood, is damaging the cambium. But the third behind it is actually not damaged at all and is a very different tree, it seems like. The two branches here, that are damaged uh, actually are much slower growing. Uh, the, they're less productive. The leaves are typically a little bit smaller. The node spacing is closer. Uh, it is like a totally different tree, even though it has the same root system. So I found that to be really interesting. There is a video that I did, I think last spring actually, we talked about pruning fig trees in the springtime and we said that one of the things that you wanna pay attention to in the spring is removing wood that is damaged, obviously dead or diseased, but damaged as well. And this is definitely some winter damage that either showed up, not this last winter, the winter before, the winter before that. Here's the other branch from the trunk and you can see it really clearly, the damage there. And what ends up happening when you have damage like that, I've noted in the past on a lot of trees that whether it's from maybe you air layered and, and girdled the branch and maybe the air layer failed, or maybe you did this your, or uh, from the winter time is what killed the branch there or did that damage. Regardless, what ends up happening is that a lot of times the tree will try to continue to grow and it may actually grow. It may fruit, it may even do its thing, but at some point the trunk or the tree or the branch, whatever it is that's damaged, it will eventually die and you'll end up coming out here and you'll see your fig tree has a lot of dead or brown wood on it uh, and the whole thing just starts to die back very quickly and you lose that portion of your tree. So I think it's really important to pay attention to that, especially when you're doing your pruning, evaluate your trees. I, th I just think it's so cool, the differences in the growth and the vigor and the productivity. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but it's also, I think, really important to make sure um, that you're doing this style of pruning anyway when you're trying to do some size control. So when we talk about trees that are too big and people always message me and say, Ross, my fig tree's too big. Well, here's the perfect example. I mean, we have to get rid of these branches this season. Um, I wanted to let them grow. I knew the damage was there, but I wanted to see what would happen. But we're gonna get rid of them this fall or this dormancy period. But the nice thing is we already have growth that's coming in down here at the base. These suckers are gonna replace it. They're already taking their place. So you take something out, the fig tree is so amazing, and it just puts something back in the place that it was in. So you do this recycling process, whether you're trying to reduce the height of your tree or bush, it's all the same. Either you remove some of the trunks, a new trunk comes up in its place, or in the tree's case, you remove some scaffolds, and a new scaffold comes up in its place. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's just rather simple. Obviously, it's not great. I would have loved for these trees to have not had any damage on them, but it is what it is. And I'm sure maybe you guys have a similar situation. Look at the difference in the leaves, the vigor, how close the nodes are. Uh, there's not really that many leaves compared to the rest of the tree that has a lot more growth, way more vigor to it. And it's the same tree, the same root system. Um, look at the other side of the tree here. Look how much more vigor there is over here on the left compared to the right. 
And if I were to actually draw a bit of a line for you guys, you'll see that right here is where the damage is. And on the left is just like a very different, seemingly very different tree. Um, so the productivity is much higher. You're looking at on each of the branches at least another three or four figs per branch at this point. And the more the season progresses, the bigger this difference will be. Some of the branches look okay, but most of them are relatively unproductive for the surface area and the age and the size of the tree you would expect uh, a fig tree to produce. And it's, it's really because of that damage. So I thank everybody out there for watching and, and sticking along with this video. Please hit the subscribe button for me, hit the like button. We'll see you guys for the next video. Take care.